Hi guys, so I've had quite a lot of interest of how I made my high altitude weather balloon. So here I've put together everything I've done in this short video. Enjoy. Okay, so this is what we're going to need. A polystyrene box, this will keep all our components insulated. I'll mention these holes in a minute. Um, next, we're going to need some duct tape that will be useful throughout the whole project. Here I have a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition. Um, I've got another camera on the way. And for SD cards, definitely get some Class 10 64GB so they last the whole journey. Um, this is a custom mount I made. Uh, it's just polystyrene that holds the camera and it's got cutouts for uh, the lens and the um, LCD. Uh, the arm is just made from some high impact polystyrene and then spray painted black with a nut for the GoPro ecosystem. Um, then we need some charging cables, so some mini USB cables. I cut one down nice and small as it didn't really need to be any longer, so saving weight there. So for the tracker, we're using an Arduino uh, with a Hamduino uh, shield on it, and it's got two antennas one radio wave antenna and one GPS antenna, and that will attach to the top there. Um, then we've got the battery pack for that. Uh, it's got some double A's, but we're actually going to be using these Energizer ones um, as they work much better in lower temperatures. And then this is a dongle, this is used for setting up the uh, tracking device. On the actual launch day, we'll use a much better tracking device with a much larger antenna. Um, this is the parachute. Um, I got it as it would work with the uh, one kilogram payload, and that would allow it to descend at five meters per second, which is quite nice and safe. It's also a nice bright colour so it should be easier to find as well. We'll need some a lot more cord um, between the balloon and the parachute and the balloon is a Huey 1200 again working with my one kilogram payload. Um, and then finally um, just some velcro to attach some of the electronics inside the payload. So that's pretty much everything so without further ado let's get to the making. Okay, so here I'm making a cardboard template. This is to mark out why I need to attach that plastic bar that I mentioned for my second camera angle. So once I've marked out, I can then place this template inside the polystyrene box, slide it over, and that tells me where I need to cut out the hole with my knife. So you can see that cut out here. I also cut out a hole in the middle for the antenna, and then I'm wrapping the entire box in duct tape. This will make it a lot more durable and it'll also add some more water resistance so it's a lot more protected, especially if there's any condensation in the clouds as it goes up or if it lands in any water when it comes back down. That's all done and I did the same to the lid. So the Habduino we're using has two antennas, a GPS and radio wave antenna. We're just going to start with this radio wave antenna by placing it through the hole that we made earlier. We're going to spread out the wires like this as it's how the antenna works best. We're going to make it more rigid by adding these straws. We're going to attach them using hot glue. We're just going to place it down just like this. And then we're going to repeat this process for the other three straws. For the last one we're just going to hold it temporarily in place using some masking tape. So now for the other antenna, we're just going to unscrew it like we did the first one. I'm going to place it through the lid this time, because it's going to be on the top. And then we're just going to feed it through. And then using some Velcro, we're just going to attach it to the top like this. Now we're just going to attach the antenna back to the Habituino. And then we're going to shut the box and make sure nothing gets caught. So I'm just checking the power bank here, just plug it in, so this will charge the camera on its journey, as you can see here. So I'm just poking a hole here, and this is to make a hole for the cable for the to charge the GoPro from the power bank on that external arm. The external GoPro is placed in this mount from a DJI Phantom 1 with a piece of foam holding in place. It's then placed in this polystyrene box and held in place with cardboard. The lid goes on and the arm made of high impact polystyrene is secured. I then slip the arm into the box and then another piece of plastic is hot glued in place and then the whole arm is held in place by this pin which slots in the side. To secure the arm further I cut out some duct tape, attach some plastic to it and glued that to the arm and then wrap the duct tape around. Next I cut out 
some velcro to attach to the back of the Arduino and then use some electrical tape to tidy up the wires on the arm. I then cut on some polystyrene in the side of the GoPro and hot glued this in place. I then made a template, stuck that in, poked a hole with a cocktail stick and then I proceeded to make this bigger. I enlarged the hole enough so that I could attach my hot wire cutter which I then used to cut out the entire circle. I test the fit and then I use a knife to cut out a circle and then I carve away with a knife so that none of the polystyrene is in view of the camera. To neaten this I then use a soldering iron and then I use some polyfiller to make it nice and smooth which I then sanded down after to give it a nice smooth finish. I then paint it black as this will stop the reflection giving a much better camera shot. More velcro is used here and this is going to be used to attach the power bank in place inside the cube. Attach one piece at the top and a couple of pieces down below as this will line up with a polystyrene inside the box which leaves space for the, the wires sticking outside the GoPro. So once it's done, I attach these spaces, one at the bottom and one at the top. You can see that cable there. So now all I need to do is peel off the backing and I can stick the power bank in place. This is an important step when I'm checking the centre of mass to make sure the whole thing balances properly. I then transfer these holes to the top and then measure away from them and then make holes in the four corners for the cords to attach to the parachute. Here I'm using a flame to heat a metal skewer. This will enlarge the holes to the diameter of a straw. Uh, these will be inserted into these holes um, and these will stop uh, the cord running through them from eroding the polystyrene. So just put all those four in, uh, trim them down to make sure they fit. I now need to transfer these four holes to the lid. So using a skewer, and I poke it through all four corners. Uh, this will transfer the holes and then I'm going to use some straws, but I'm going to hot glue them in this time so that they don't fall out because they're quite small. So I did go ahead and add a few more polystyrene blocks and velcro for the other electronic components. So now we've done quite a lot of the construction and now it's just on to the actual cord and parachute. So it's just the process of measuring out the cord. I'm going to feed both ends through the corresponding holes. I'm going to tie those ends together then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Once I've done that you'll see it all sort of comes together like this. So now I'm just measuring out the cord to the correct lengths, cutting them and then I'm going to put them over a flame as this will stop the end from fraying. Here I'm tying a double figure eight knot and this will attach the parachute to the cord. It's a nice secure knot and then once I've done that I made these little pieces and then wrapped the, like the excess cord around them and that will hold on place ready for launch day. And finally I just labelled them so I know which cord is which. So now I've just put the last of the electronics all in the box now so that's all ready um, and you can see some finished photos of my project here and now it's just ready to launch. Okay so that's just about everything if you haven't seen the video of my launch you can find that in the video description I hope you enjoyed um, and I'll see you next time.